Hey everyone, welcome back again. Um, in this video, I simply just want to take some time to kind of correct um, some things that I've made comments of in the past, particularly um, a reflection of the Keyence vision systems of the CVX and the XGX series uh, systems. So, I know that some of the comments I've made during some of my, uh, my vision uh, programs I've said that I prefer their vision systems of the the AI or the um, the IV series vision systems as compared to the CV and the XG series um, vision systems. And in fact, I think I've even made comments where I prefer Cognex over these systems as well. And I will tell you, there is a special spot in my heart for Cognex. That's what I started my uh, career with, was Cognex vision systems. But I wanted to kind of take some time to correct that that opinion that I've shared with you. Um, when I started in the industry, again, like I said, most of my experience was with Cognex. Um, I did dabble a little bit with some other systems out there, but again, mainly Cognex. And Keyence wasn't generally one of them. And then I, I transitioned to another role in another company, and I had the opportunity to work with the Keyence systems. And I, I would say that part of it was the projects that I was handed, and part of it was um, just kind of some poor management on on the end of maybe the rep didn't quite understand what the goal was and I'm not gonna say the rep was at fault here um, I think that everybody in this situation was set up I was new to this position and hadn't vetted the project thoroughly enough and neither had the rep understood the, the project either as he had been handed it from probably two previous reps and so the projects all failed waste of money lost lost opportunity lost cost and lost value here. So unfortunately that left kind of a, a bad taste in my mouth if you will um, and so I know that Keyence kind of most of the reps wouldn't really bother me with these vision systems. I know periodically I'd look at them just to see what was available but we never really spoke much. And then here about I want to say about a year ago the, the vision rep I had no other alternative um, Cognex wasn't going to offer me what I needed and so I had no other alternative but to reach out to my Keyence rep and say, hey, you know what, I know that I haven't always been the person that I wanted to have to use a Keyence system with, but I need to see what your options are. And he went ahead and gathered some of that data, some of that information that came out and showed me some of that information. And then I also had the opportunity to take a training that was offered by Keyence at a, at, for free because I'd purchased cameras in the past and I was able to use that as kind of leverage to get the free training on that for the CVX series. And what that did is kind of open my eyes to tell it to be able to tell you that the features that Keyence has within the CVX series are way beyond what a Cognex Insight system has. Now, I know Cognex has really gone a long way into developing new systems and new additives and all that stuff within their AI systems, but I will tell you that the CVX can blow most of that out of the water just by all the features they have and they do also have an AI intuitive system on board of the CVX that you can use. Um, probably not quite as good as the IV series cameras but still nevertheless an AI system where you just plug and play a few a few tools and a few um, a few good and bad images and then it learns it to understand what you're looking for. So with that being said, I kind of want to go into this and simply say to you, the viewers, that first off, I'm not sponsored by Keyence. Um, I have no real ties to Keyence other than I, I enjoy using their products. They make great products, um, and then they have great customer service, and they back their products with either a decent warranty or um, their customer service reps are right there with you. It's like, hey, it failed. Why did it fail? And if it's like, if our product failed, we're going to back our product. So it's it's just a, a fact that Keyence is really one of those companies that really values their quality and puts out a quality product. So with that being said, the CVX is a great vision system. Now there are the drawbacks of that it does have a bulky controller that has to sit inside of a, a remote cabinet of some sort, or it could be next to the system, but not but the camera itself does not have an onboard um, process. Like it has the imaging chip, but it doesn't have the processing chip on board. It sends all that information back to the image grabber or the controller that does all of that processing for you. Now, the cool thing about this CVX series is it has an integrated light feature where you put an add-on module and you can get just about any light that Keyence makes, and you could even buy a light that is not a Keyence light and have that as an external light as well that'll be tied onto that. 
with that being said, they do have anything from, I think, like a, it's like a half a megapixel camera all the way up to, I believe, a 64 megapixel camera. Now, understand, this is May of 2024, so they're probably working on even better, uh, better resolution cameras every day as we speak. So, understand, they're constantly growing this. So, CVX, fantastic system. And they do make cables that I believe go up to 10 meters, and then you can get an extension, and I believe you can extend it up to 20 meters. And I'm not going to, I'm going to go out on a limb and say they might be able to even extend it farther than that with an additional extension, but I'm, don't quote me on that. You'll have to talk to the rep on that or consult the tech manual for that. So those are some of the features there. Fantastic system. Works great. There are a lot of tools, and if you're not familiar with vision tools and you're not real comfortable with understanding all of it, it's going to look very clunky. The system's going to look like it's overwhelming, there's too much there, there's, there's too much to work with and all of that, and it does look like that. But I will tell you that for a programmer side of it, you need all of that. And it's, it's astronomically beneficial, and it's, it's huge. It really is. So compared to an Insight system, this is the way I would go. Um, in fact, personally, me is like, I still have Cognex in my inventory, in my repertoire, and I, like I said, I still have a special place in my heart for Cognex, and I probably always will. But in any project going forward, I personally prefer to go with Keyens. I'll either go with the IV series if I can do a simple project with a, a small onboard, all of it all in one, or I'm going to go with the CVX. Why? Because it's just a better system, better quality control, better representatives that I can work with. And, not to mention, if i got to get on the phone with tech support, right then and there. Okay? And I've been burned a few times with Cognex, just FYI. The XG series. Now, I personally am going to tell you, and it's the same thing the rep's probably going to tell you a little bit too. If you aren't doing very fine controls, stick with the CVX. It's simplistic, it's easy to use, and it's, it's great for programming. However, the XG series is going to be great if you need to measure tiny little pro or, uh, parts and stuff. So think of like semiconductors on a, on a motherboard of some sort. If you're measuring the distance of that and you need that fine tool and, and something that's real precise, the XG is going to be the one that you want to go with. The XG, think in the world of Cognex here again, you have Easy Builder or you have Spreadsheet. XG is going to be your spreadsheet side of it. CVX is going to be your easy builder side of it. So for those of you that understand Cognex, that's kind of the easiest way to understand that. The XG series is a fantastic system. Very similar to the CVX. does have all of the, the benefits of the add-on modules, all of that. Now, the newer edition of the XG series controllers also have the ability to bring in their laser profiler scanner. So you can integrate a laser profile with the image and do some funky things there. And, and you'll have to talk to your rep on how all of that works because I'm, I'm kind of at a loss on that. But I will tell you that that's one of the features there. They also have a feature where I believe they can build a 3D model out of the images and how they're taken with the XG series. So huge amount of processing power there. You're, you're paying for it, but there's a huge amount of processing power there. So... Me personally, and, and understand the XG model is not going to replace a CMM. Not even remotely close. But there is a way they can do some different modeling with it that, that I believe is a little different than how they can do in the CD series. Now, again, don't quote me on that one. Um, again, that's a, you're going to have to talk to the rep about that. But what I'm telling you is, is that you can do way more features in the XG series than you could even with the CVX. But the CVX can do way more features than the IV series can. So... I'm simply going to put it this way. If you have a project, I would start with the IV person. If you have no idea where you're going, what to do, I would start with your IV rep, and I would say, hey, how, what am I doing here? What can I do? And if the IV person says, I can't make that work with an IV vision sensor, then he's going to simply say, I will pass you off to the CVX person. And then the CVX person is going to review it, and they're going to say, hey, you know what? I can do that with the CVX, or I can't do that. We're going to have to switch over to XG. And if they're the XG rep in your territory, then they'll handle that and help you get you started. If they're not, they'll pass you off to that rep. They're very good about having that fluid communication amongst each other and passing you to that person that needs to have that communication with you. Again, great customer service, great customer support. Absolutely love the company. Absolutely love their vision systems. Like I said, in the last four years, my opinions of, of this vision system and this company on this particular 
area has tra changed drastically. I would highly recommend them before I would touch a Cognex camera again. Um, just my personal preference and personal opinion. Um, as for sensors and everything else, again, great company. You can integrate that stuff right into the controller so you can control the trigger right there off of a sensor. Again, all kinds of different features, all kinds of I.O. options you have. They do have Ethernet, EtherCAT, um, Profinet, and some other add-on modules that you can use for communications into the controller. Um, they do have an HMI that you can use to run the controller, just like you'd see in Cognex. Um, their HMIs, I believe, are a little bit bigger, but that's, you know, bigger is always better usually in the world that we work in. Um, and then you can network all that stuff too, so you can run all of that from the PLC. And the other benefit that I love about Keyence on some of this stuff is that they do try to have kind of the add-on module that's already with the Rockwell platform so that you could go into Rockwell, search for your particular controller module, there it is, import it, and there you go. All of your command features are right there within your Ethernet. So in your control logics or compact logics in your Studio 5000 program, you can just go ahead and automatically import that into your project. So, again, like I said, Keyence really has blown me out of the water on this one in understanding. And so I, I would highly recommend that you consider them for your project. So, again, not supported by them in any way, shape, or form. Just happen to love their product. I just want to share that with you. So thank you all for watching and stay tuned for additional tech videos.